Ladies and gentle ladies, is Hu Tao still a character that is worth going for? Now, Hu Tao, we haven't really seen a lot of in a while, but I'm sure we're going to see some sort of quests along with Nahida in the future uh, phase of this patch. But I just don't know how I feel about Hu Tao in the new patches. Now, a long time ago, Hu Tao was a character that it you can't you couldn't miss. It's so easy to build, has one of the strongest kits in the game, and you used to pair her with Xing Chou and do ridiculous amounts of damage. But now it's kind of different. But what exactly changed? Well, I'll tell you what changed, and it's very, very simple. Uh, actually, I won't even tell you. I'll just show you Arlecchino or Arlecchino. Now, Arlecchino is just a character that is simply, in my personal opinion, a better Hu Tao. Does everything Hu Tao does and is just as easy to build and, well, is Arlecchino. <laughs> She's insane, really strong character, easy to build, and it's just so fun. Now, the difference between Hu Tao and Arlecchino is very minuscule. Firstly, I don't have my Hu Tao built right now, right now, but Hu Tao you built kind of with HP and you have everything HP in mind. And with that, it's kind of, uh, you do ridiculous amounts of damage for pretty much free. With Arlecchino, um, you kind of have a different mechanic thanks to the blood debt or whatever it was called, right? Personally, I think it's so much easier with this skill instead. You just sort of build her on attack and crit and the regular style of building a character and then you whip up some sort of blood debt and do that simple as that but how is outdated i feel like now as a character she's just a character that's kind of how should i say this very politely because i kind of like Hutao as a character but she's kind of not that great <laughs> to say the least there are so many other characters that just sort of take her precedent before there were very little characters that do as much damage as Hu Tao, especially since she was the pyro character that everybody goes for. The first time I tried going for Hu Tao after Xiao's original release, um, I missed. I didn't get the 50-50 and I lost and I had to wait a really long time for Hu Tao's rerun and then I could finally get Hu Tao. But by then, so many other characters released that I ended up not even caring about Hu Tao that much. But uh, nowadays it's even worse because there's so many new release characters that I want to say are quote unquote better. And there still is a place for Hu Tao. Hu Tao is still viable. She's still good. She's really powerful. If you have her C1, she's pretty much OP, right? Simply put, she's just strong. And by now, you guys might have a C1 or a C2. And if you go for a C3, even stronger, right? But personally, I think it's good if instead of going for Hu Tao, you just go with Nahida instead. Nahida just provides the dendro of everything and is so, so strong. But yeah, that is just my two cents on what I think Hu Tao is at this current point in time. In fact, I think it's not even worth to go for Hu Tao if you're going to go for Mavuika. Because Mavuika's coming soon and she's going to bring a pyro element of different kinds. I don't know if she's going to be a buffer or a damage dealer or whatever it may be. But all I do know is that she's coming right after Hu Tao. So you guys have to keep that in mind as well. But yeah, that is pretty much all I had to say. If you guys have more to say in the comment section down below, like, why are you so mean to Hu Tao? Hu Tao is so good. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video very soon. Goodbye.
Okay, there is a good, maybe slight, actually a pretty big chance I might have been wrong. Okay, wait. Okay, just generally, just look at the big idea, okay? She goes off HP. And I'm not getting the absolute maximum with this since I, if I level it up, obviously it's gonna get upgraded. So, um, she can become even stronger. Now, the thing is, is that Arlachina is just easier to build and you'd get damage really quick really easily but Putao is actually pretty good all right my bad my bad she still has a spot okay um i mean not my favorite character to use because i don't have a constellation one so maybe there's that she's viable in some sense i guess and uh i'm wrong uh the precedent of the video was supposed to be that she isn't really usable that much anymore because there's so many better characters but I was kind of proven wrong. Um, she's still very much usable. Um, and you could potentially um, have just as much impact as you would if you had um, Hu Tao over Arlecchino. But yeah, there's that. Um, yeah, I was wrong.